This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, point is in verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. I will also forget their children. Verse 7, as they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore will I change their glory into shame. I start off by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to Call Halayim La Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Rechak on the Spirit of Thumb. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and the freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwathi and Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is an edifying video. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, hearing like the other nations, and subscribing to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. It's the brother Yahweh Sop out of the GMS at Cleveland Church, a fellow servant coming at you with another lesson through the spirit, through the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And um, basically, uh, so like it. Basically, um, probably get this out of another um another bible app but um i um took a picture of a post that one of the brothers did i can't remember exactly what brothers are like it for that because i like to give respect to where respect you know is due um i know the spirit be dealing with brothers so ultimately it's from y'all about some shot but you know brothers be on point with information and um it makes me understand why the Lord appointed certain brothers to head to, you know, positions they in. Because, you know, we a body, so, you know, we all supposed to play a part. It's not supposed to be nothing lacking. When something lacking in the body, then there's something wrong with it. It's at disease or dis-ease. But uh, brother posted something. Um, it was a post by some a, a particular person. They was like, they was 20 years old and just finding out this information about how, uh, the same organization that's pushing for us to get the vaccine actually came out with the uh, Tuskegee experiment. So I, I got, I mean, I, I got this, made me think of a few scriptures and I downloaded something else. I read a few of these little things. I don't know how much the spirit have me read it. And, you know, Lord willing, it's edifying. So this is from Wikipedia. It says Tuskegee syphilis study. And this is just basically for, like I said, that's why I came out with the Jose. You know, I me, mean? our my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Cause you had Jake. I mean, I I recall that. You know, <laughs> I never knew this, but I recall that when you had Jake's that uh, literally was uh, aware of the Tuskegee experiment and was talking about uh, basically, you know, you know how like how um, that that one Israelite um, Tazariak. The saying where he took it just to, uh, you know, basically so uh, that the rest of Yasharala wasn't afraid to take it, you know, basically condoning it. And, um, you know, you had Jake's during the time. I, I recall certain instances where you had, you know, older Jake that was taking it, saying basically to, uh, because although Tuskegee happened to, you know, Basically, get a white man a pass or the red red man a pass rather. But um, bear with me for a second. I'm trying to do a few little different things. So it says, um, the Tuskegee study of untreated syphilis in the Negro male, or well, the Israelite male, informally referred to as the Tuskegee 
syphilis experiment or Tuskegee syphilis study was an ethical abusive study conducted between 1932 and 1972. So that's 40 years by the United States Public Health Service. And the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, the purpose of this study was to observe the natural history of untreated syphilis. But they used Jake as the test subject. Just like when you go into a lot of the science that they came up with, as far as the human body, you know, these medical schools are based off of taking uh, Jake women slaves and basically experimenting on them. I forgot the name of that one doctor. I did a video on it in the past. The doctor that basically, um, you know, um, came up with uh, gynecology. You know, then when you sit up there, like, say, this, this man really is sick and, and, and you know, he's the devil, you know what I mean? Like, when you pay attention to what he into, you know what I mean? As far as, um, they'll tell you that underage shit is, is illegal, you know what I mean? But then, like I said, you know, he saw, you know, I just found out, I, I subscribed to this female channel. She was talking about, like, on eBay when you see certain, um, you'll, you'll see on eBay somebody ch selling a chicken nugget for, uh, 15,000, 10,000, a chicken nugget. You're like, what the fuck? And she was showing it. And I'm thinking at first it was nuggets of gold, but it's, you know, 15. We got three chicken nuggets for one for five, one for eight, and one for 10. And she basically was saying that that's them promoting uh, children's sex slaves ring right in your face, hidden in plain sight. You know, and that's what America's built on, you know. You got shit hidden in plain sight. That's what the movie Blade was showing. You know, them vampires was visiting clubs that was right in plain sight. But people, if you didn't know the code, you know, if you didn't understand, you know, the language, the code that they was using. Just like how these masons talk right in front of your face. The purpose of this study was to deserve the natural, natural history of untreated syphilis. Although the African-American men who participated in the study were told that they were receiving free health care from the federal government of the United States, they were not. And that made me think of another. Ah, oh, Salaki, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, made me think of a scripture. Um, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 22. Lying lips are abomination to the Lord, but they that deal truly are his delight. And, you know, we all are capable of lying, but it's a group of people on the planet that, you know, are big. Big liars, you know what I mean? Like, like, I mean, you know, they were blessed or cursed, however you want to look at it. The Lord embedded in them the, the ability with that slick tongue. When you go into, um, what's that book of Psalms, chapter 55, about, um, you know, um, his words are smoother than butter. You know what I mean? You got to remember this man basically took over a, um, a land mass uh by line of deceit you know um you know when you go into the history of gad and reuben like how you know they made all these treaties with esau e and literally esau e broke every treaty this is the book of proverbs chapter 6 verse 16 these six things doth the lord yahweh by hashem yahweh shall hate yea seven are abomination unto him a proud look a lying tongue and hands that shit innocent blood verse 18 a heart that devises of wicked imaginations Feet that be swift and run into mischief. Verse 19, a false witness that speak of lies and him that soweth discord among brethren. And when you really pay attention and really like analyze that, this red Hebrew Edomite is the one individual on the planet who has committed all these different things. He sowed discord um, with, I mean, Jake amongst Jake. You got it going now. You got certain Jakes like Boosie and... Um, What's that nigga named Juvenile and fucking Slim Thug that's literally promoting this vax? Slim Thug um, basically threatening people live. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, fuck that nigga. Don't make the Lord kill that nigga. Uh, somebody you love. How about that? But, uh, you know, a proud look. Who is the proudest uh, creature on the planet? Esau Edom. Who has, who's the biggest liar? Isn't that? He, he's called a red devil, not just by Jake. But you know what I mean? You know. Some of the other heathens, um, you know, because Esau E is the biggest heathen, but some of the other heathen nations, they look at um, <coughs> Esau E as a, as a devil. When you go into the word devil, it's Latin for diablos, meaning deceiver, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, quick hands, because um, 
quick to shed innocent blood, the device, wicked imaginations. That make me think of um, what's that, Micah? Uh, no, that's Habakkuk, ain't it? No, that's Micah, chapter two, verse one, I believe. Let me check this out just to make sure. But I know since Psalms, you know, um, it's in Proverbs chapter four. I want to make sure though. I think it's Micah. Walton, yeah, Micah. So yeah, I mean, uh, I read that. I ain't mean to do that. It's a lock here. Uh, bear with me for a second. So back into the article says um, the Public Health Service started the study in 1932 in collaboration with Tuskegee University, then the Tuskegee Institute, a historical historically black college in Alabama. So <laughs> to show you, I mean that's the spirit because to sow discord, they went through this college of you know so called Jakes, well so called black. Um, uh, College of Jakes, they went through, I guess, their administration to actually do this. So that's so on Discord. A historical black college in Alabama, and the study investigators enrolled a total of 600 impoverished African American, but basically Jakes, sharecroppers from Macomb County, Alabama. Of these men, 399 had latent syphilis, with a control group of 201 men who were not affected. As an incentive for participation in the study, the men were promised free medical care, but were deceived by the PHS, who never informed subjects of their diagnosis and diagnosed placebos. So basically, they, you know, got them, gave them a disease, told them that they was giving them free medical care, and didn't give them, they gave them placebo, something. If you know what a placebo is, basically, like, say, for instance, um, you know, a lot of studies, they tend to do this because they understand the power of, uh, how when I was just recently incarcerated, I came across a book um, about um, it was written from a doctor's standpoint, but he was a believer in the scriptures. I mean, probably a Christian, but the point being, you know, you eat the meat and you spit out the bones. But the point is, you know, science understands that the power of prayer, you know what I mean? All that, you know what I mean? Like they it was the studies that they have done and literally they'll take a group of people and have this group get prayed for and this group don't get prayed for, but they both uh, actually receive medical like um, surgery or whatever the case. And nine times out of 10, the, the group that um, was prayed for literally uh, recovered and lived as opposed to those that wasn't, you know what I mean? So science understand, you know, and that's what I was just listening to the elder speak on it. Like the Esau E got a lot to pay for it. You know, um, I was listening to, I forgot what camp, but they was talking about how basically um, cancer can't live in blood that's irradiated. And Esau Ben knew that. Fucking devil. Um, but um, a placebo is basically like if they test in the medicine, they might give um, one part of the group. They might have a thousand people. Well, no, that's a big number. So they might have a hundred people. They might give uh, a third of the group the actual medicine they're trying to actually um, get passed through the FDA. Then they might get a third uh, traditional medicine. Then the third, they might just give a placebo, meaning it's something like a water pill or something that ain't really medicine just to see, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, the, the, the mind is, is a strange, you know what I mean? Like, what's that, uh, a hypochondriac? You know, I, I worked with a chick that was a hypochondriac. You know, she her mind was so crazy that... You know, if she was around like this COVID shit, I wonder what, because <laughs> like say, if somebody's got COVID, she don't necessarily have it, but her mind, <coughs> if she saw somebody with it, her mind would start making her think she had it. You know what I mean? Some crazy shit. The Lord plagued her. She lock it. Um, so it says, um, the men were initially told that the experiment was only going to, to last six months, but it was extended to 40 years after... Fun <laughs> Ain't that about a bitch? 
the men were initially told that the experiment was only going to last six months, but it was extended to 40 years after funding for treatment was lost. The study was continued without informing the men that they were never being treated. And I think they ain't syphilis one of the ones that act, the, the disease that actually going untreated, it gets to affecting your brain and all that. None of the affected men was treated with penicillin, despite the fact that by 1947, the antibiotic was widely available and had become the standard treatment for syphilis. The study continued under numerous public health service supervisors until 1972, when a leak to the press resulted in its termination on November 16th of the year of that year. By then, 28 patients had died directly from syphilis. 100 died for complications related to syphilis. 40 of the patients' wives were infected with syphilis. And 19 children were born with congenial syphilis. That's some evil ass shit. It says the 40 year Tuskegee study was a major violation of ethical standards and has been cited as arguably the most infamous biomedical research study in U.S. history. And I'm just going to say this. So at the end, if you understood this and realized this information, would you second guess or debate or even have a, 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 a change of thought about taking this thing because the same organization that literally did this to our people to me i'm not gonna you know me the lord could do anything you know me i'm saying this now the lord could take that from me and put a spirit on me and you know i get weak and day but just you know that it tells you in the scriptures about um surely oppression make a, a wise man angry this should make you angry if you are so-called black man or a, 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 a Israelite man, you know, so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Seminole Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, because the thing is, they didn't only do experiments on, you know, the so-called black man, but on other tribes, you know what I mean, like, um, it says, <coughs> it's, it's revelation led to the 1979 Belmont report and to the establishment of the Office for Human Research protection and federal laws and regulations require institutional review boards for the protection of human subjects and studies the ohrp manages this responsibility with the united states department of health and human services but well, fuck all that because at the end of the day when they want to do something sneaky they do it anyway it's all kind of shit going on right now you got to remember just within the last couple of years you had pizzagate and shit where they were child trafficking i can't think of uh what the fuck the franklin cover-up you know uh and, and I'm not sure if this guy was an Edomite or what, but it was a, a FBI director that basically resigned and went full of stuff. Like in Franklin, I think it was Nebraska, they was basically kidnapping kids. They had a tunnel that ran from the fucking school to, eh, and this motherfucker's the devil. It says, on May 16th, 1997, President Bill Cook, it's lucky. On May 16th, 1997, President Bill Clinton formally apologized on behalf of the United States to the victims of the study. That's like uh, Biden formally apologized about um, Black Wall Street, Tulsa, Oklahoma. You know, after he and I think he was the only president to ever do so, give a formal apology. But all those years later, you know, what I mean, fuck your apology. You know, that's my opinion. Well, you know, you got, you know, two third Jake that's going to just like so brainwashed and that and that's spiritual and and that's also like uh how the mind works you know what i mean like when you go into uh that patty hearst and uh you know patty hearst was kidnapped and then basically the same people that kidnapped her had her running with them uh robbing banks and shit they probably you know broke her in real good because it was uh i forgot like i can't i don't know if they was jake or ham but um, i forgot you know how you got the ira they it's supposed to be like a group of uh I forgot what kind of like uh, organization it was, but she, Patty Hearst is supposed to come from a wealthy Edomite family, and they you could go research it, and basically she, she supposed to be uh, brainwashed, just like our people are brainwashed. You know what I mean? You know, after you forget, you know. I remember growing up. I'm 42 years old. I remember growing up and going to school and having these Edomite teachers explain to me about how my people were slaves. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's funny how now nobody remembers this. It says, um, back in the article, it says, on May 16th, 1997, President Bill Clinton formally apologized on behalf of the United States to the victims of the study, calling it shameful and racist. Calling it shameful and racist. What was done cannot be undone, but we can end the silence, he said. We can stop turning our heads away. We can look at you in the eye and finally say, on behalf of the United States people, what the United States government did was shameful, and I'm sorry. Ain't that about a bitch? And it was always... <coughs> 
Esau E. You know, Jake is labeled. This is the America of the free, the home of the brave. America is the land of, of new beginnings and second chances and all that. But this is the place once you label with a felony, that shit can affect you for the rest of your life. You know what I mean? Me and, and people I've actually like known that basically felt like impoverished where they couldn't do anything because they labeled felons. So they just stay off and waste their whole life in the streets. I mean, ultimately, will y'all about shit y'all shit? That's how full of shit this place is. You know what I mean? Only Esau E is the person that literally expects to say sorry and then everything all is supposed to be forgotten. You know what I mean? So, <coughs> I got one last scripture. Well, I had two. I probably won't even read them because the last. <coughs> this is the book of uh, Sirach or the book of Ecclesiasticus or the book of Sirach, uh, 12, chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thy enemy. For like as iron rust of souls is wickedness. Verse 12, though he humble himself like he just did. Bill Clinton up there talking about, oh, on behalf of the uh, United States of America, we're sorry. But then now you got CDC pushing a, 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 a mandatory vaccine. And I, we, me, me and the younger brother did a lot of videos about the vaccine. That's why I ain't going to say I was an expert at it, but I knew some things about it. So the thing is, I we recall... Uh, Articles and whatnot when they was pushing it on the Jake communities, you know what I mean? They was trying to say that we Jake was more susceptible to getting in all kinds of shit. Uh, it says, and go crouch and yet yeah, take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped the looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away because he like iron naturally rusts and have properties in it where naturally rusts, you know what I mean? Just like. Uh, it's <laughs> just that's the way it's it's made up this this man is made up naturally to be the wicked it's in his nature and like i said that's a you know what was done to our people was a wicked thing but you know esau edom has a punishment from that uh because of that this is the book of jeremiah chapter 49 verse 7 concerning edom thus saith the lord of hosts is wisdom no more in teman is Council perish from the prudent is their wisdom vanished. And when you go into Teman, Teman was one of the tribes of uh, Esau because just like Jacob had sons and then, you know, uh, his sons all became their own nations and tribes. Esau Edom had sons. You know, Teman was one of the uh, tribes of Esau Edom. It says, uh, I'm going to skip. If grape gatherers come to thee, will they not leave some gleaning grapes? If these by night, they will destroy till they have enough. And that's showing you this man's covetousness. This man is greedy. He's a carnal man. You know what I mean? He, you know, he, he, he would never have his field. That's why the world and the earth is being destroyed because it was left in his hand. But this fucking devil is so car carnal, you know what I mean? Like I said, he, he, you know, that's why he's trying to heap all the riches upon himself. He's trying to, you know, he doesn't <coughs> really care about it because it can't, it can't be he don't understand the earth is alive. Is he don't give a fuck. He's, you know, his covenant is... Uh, and his greed over uh, powers, you know, his rationale. You know what I mean? You know you got to be a sick motherfucker if you uh, uh, poison the water that you got to drink just to sell some water. You know what I mean? Like, that's some sick shit. You, 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 you to sell water, to make money, you fuck up the water that naturally you got to drink. Or like when it comes down to natural, um, like, what was that guy named? Moses? Moses, I can't remember, the Jake guy that came up with basically the machine that was able to extract clean water out of the air. And this devil want to fuck up, he, he doesn't want you to have access to something like that. So out the blue, it's just somebody fucks with his machine. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Things that, that could be beneficial to the world, but because this devil wants to, you know, like the elder apostle Kabar was just going into that. Uh, no, it was the elder Malcolm. He was saying how uh, when you go to Dr. Sabi, you know what I mean? They wouldn't even let him in this country because basically he knew how to cure cancer and all kind of shit. And when you go into their medical industry, that uh, uh, petrol, because, you know, modern medicine is based on uh, the petrol, you know what I mean? Like uh, the uh, American Medical Association, like which was funded by Rockefeller, they literally, like all the drugs was started by, they was, uh, Petroleum-based drugs, you know what I mean? 
That's why, you know, a lot of this medicine doesn't really fucking help you. You know what I mean? Like, this shit is all of this. This is a fucked up play. It's like it. Verse 10. But I have made Esau bear. I have covered his secret places. And I just showed you that by reading this Tuskegee experiment. It's like I said, I seen the post, but then I just up through the spirit, maybe looking again. And I was like, wow, this is the CDC. The same people that's trying to push you to take this thing, this, you know, this jab is literally did that to Jake. And did it for years. I mean, I just read it. They said it was supposed to be six months and it turned into 40 fucking years. You don't think this devil got to pay? It said, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled and his brother and his neighbors and he is not. Skip it to the point. Verse 12, for thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahushua, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunk it. I mean, the Jake, I mean, the Ish. Me the Yasharala, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, we was given the law, statutes, and commandments to be perfect. And, you know, you know, it's ultimately the will of the Lord, you know what I mean? But at the same time, you know, the judgment, our judgment was not to drink of the cup. And it says, the cup has surely drunk it. But when you see, we drank that cup. You know, uh, it tells you uh, when, you know, uh, James and Jaws wanted to be uh, sit on the left hand or the right hand. And Yahusha said, can you drink of this cup? You know, that cup of uh, affliction. You know what I mean? We, uh, You know, look at our people. Our people are, are, are damn near destroyed. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't going to say all of us because you got the remnant. You got our people that's literally coming back to the law, statutes, commandments. But for the most part, look at Jake. Jake is fucked up. When, you, when I saw that video of uh, Th Slim Thug, that shit disgusted me. You know what I mean? When I say Lil Boosie, find out Lil Boosie. Not no Lil Boosie a nigga, but, you know, it's just like. And then it show you how the Lord's so cold. He'll use a nigga because Boosie says some profound stuff sometimes. You know what I mean? You know. I remember when the brother said that he was going to get judged for or saying all that blasphemous stuff against the Most High, and he ended up getting shot in the leg. You know what I mean? This To show you how the Lord can take a person that, like, like everything is like putty and weak in the Most High's hands. You know, uh, if you don't know, Lil Boosie actually has a, 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 a semblance of power on this side. You know, Lil Boosie ain't, you know, nobody to lightweight take lightly, you know what I mean? Lil Boosie got a little squad. You sit to say that shit, he can say people out there. Yeah, Lil Boosie do these things. It says, but that shit didn't mean nothing. The Lord set him on his ass, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it says, uh, and art thou, he shall all together go unpunished. Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. Verse 13, for I have sworn by myself, saith the Lord, that Basra, which is another name for Esau Edom, shall become a desolation, a reproach, a waste, and a curse. So let's go into the word desolation. I'm going to end this. Waste, horror, appalment, a waste of land, appalment, horror. The Lord going to jack that shit up. A waste, a curse, and the seeds thereof shall be perpetually waste. Meaning, we go into that word perpetual. Antiquity for the forever, everlasting, evermore, perpetual, old, ancient world. Forever, continuous, everlasting, indefinite, unending. So, forever. It's, you know, and, you know, Basically, you, you know, these Edomites and their power structure going to be taken out forever. That's the point. You know, based on the things like this Tuskegee experiment, you know what I mean? And that's just one thing we know about. I mean, sometimes I, you know, it crosses my mind, like, what don't we know about? And that's why the Lord doesn't let you know certain things. You know, if you really could, re like, it talks about uh, former things are brought to remembrance because, roughly paraphrased, because if you was to remember certain things about your past. Just imagine some of the sins that some of us had committed, you know what I mean? What if, you know, in your past life you was doing some wicked homosexual shit or you got beheaded for, you know, the most high, you know what I mean? And that was on your conscience, on your mind. You'd be bugged the fuck out. So the Lord know what he doing about not letting you remember everything. But if we knew everything as far as what this devil did, oh my God, you know what I mean? Like, you don't know how we would react, you know what I mean? Either be completely broken or completely try to, you know, literally take this over without waiting on the Lord. And everything got to be doing 
at the top of the wheel of your how about should be out shot. So I will end a lesson with that. Uh, if you so called black, Hispanic, Native American, Sibyl, Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the laws and the statutes and to the commandments of Yahweh Ba Shibi Shah or be destroyed. And with that, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to call Halayim, La Yahweh Ba Shibi Shah, Ba Shib, Er Chakadas Mukhtab, that will honor the thoughts of the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth. With faith and sincerity, as well as risking the lives of the freedom to do so. Shalom out to the Aquat, to the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is an edifying video. Shalom out to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of the other nations, appearing like the other nations, and subscribing to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. Until next time, I'm able to come with another lesson. Shalom, Shalom, and Mawakalabababa. Shalom.